You went tuned to the wettest channel on the internet. How you doing guys and welcome back, welcome back to the wettest channel on the internet and for those people that were worried that we didn't post no videos last week, well we were taking a little spring break with the kids, but now we're back in the water. <laughs> and like I always say, it's a great pleasure to meet the people that watch the channel like this guy with this beautiful fountain that I met before boarding the Hydro Sport on this beautiful late Saturday afternoon at Hollywood Marina because it doesn't matter if you make it late or early as long as you make it to the water and most definitely I would like to take this moment to thank everyone that keeps watching the channel and sharing the videos thank you so much for the love and support and if you guys follow me on Instagram or Facebook you guys notice that my spring break I spend it over on the west coast with the whole family because my kids were off the whole week so Gita took it off from her work and I took it off from YouTube that's why I didn't post anything but don't worry I got you for those people that attended the sandbar party on Sunday this is the video that started off so what we did was launch the boat late Saturday afternoon so I didn't have to deal with all the traffic and getting up really early on Sunday because you already know if you've been watching my videos that sometimes we don't make it on time to the early things Definitely right now enjoying the smooth ride for the Hydro Sport and also the beautiful golden view that the sun is starting to give. And yeah, you see it, the Hydro is cruising right through the little chop. Smooth like a knife to butter. And we have reached the local hot spot, well known as a local sandbar. And like you notice, it's pretty late, the sun's starting to set, but the Miami voters are not going anywhere, like these people right here. And while the sun starts to set, that's a sign for some voters to go home. But for these people, not for them. For them, the party's just gonna start. And by the look of things, it looks like they're gonna enjoy it to the max. And that's why I say, the more, the merrier. And this is the best way to live sample of life. And here's the answer to a lot of questions that I got when people were wondering, once the sandbar is gone, are the bottles are still gonna be there? Well, like you see, they're still here. The only difference between now and then, once the sandbar got dredged, well, they left a little tiny piece towards the east north side of the sandbar. The rest is about 8 feet deep. And I love it. I love to see people enjoy their time out in the water with family and friends like us. But now we're en route to look for my friend because he's here. But He's at a new location. If you guys saw my previous jet ski video, you guys noticed we found another sandbar just a little bit south from the original. And our friend Doobie's there hanging out, so we're gonna go ahead and join him.
And I guess we're gonna call this location All Over Part 2 because the party is never gonna stop no matter if they take the original one. And actually, this location is bigger than the original one. The only thing is, the sand doesn't come out, but it gets as low as eight inches of water. And you know how they say time flies when you're having fun? Well, it does, especially when you're out in the water enjoying yourself because the day turned into night and we didn't even realize it. And by the way, if you guys came down here for your spring break to South Florida, hopefully you had a safe, fun trip. And a lot of people asked me if I was going to go visit the Fort Lauderdale beaches, but this year I decided to play it cool and stay home because the videos I seen floating around the internet, it seemed like there was double the amount of people than last year. And talking about something really cool, look at this. I guess a dolphin came by to say hi and jam with us to the music. And definitely you could tell this is a native dolphin raised in Miami because he was jamming to Uncle Luke while we were playing here on the boat. Yeah, like you heard, we were jamming old school. Just too bad I can't play the whole song for you guys to enjoy. But now, the party was over and we we're heading out to our favorite island here at Halover Beer Can. And by this time, it was almost 10 o'clock at night and the party's still going like you see on the island. And how cool is this? We got to meet some local fans that boat here in Miami on their beautiful pro line while I was cooking up a midnight snack barbecue. And if you guys haven't been this late on the water cooking barbecue, you should try. It's a pretty cool, unique experience. And by the way, what time is it? What time is it? Nope, not tonight. Oh, by the way, I would like to thank those people that purchased Sausage Time t-shirts because I ordered 200 and I had to order more because the orders kept on coming. Thank you so much for the love and support. And if you want one for yourself, you can always get it at frescochannel.com. And I would like to thank Alice Gonzalez from Massachusetts. He purchased Sandbar Life and Sausage Time for the whole family. He doesn't want you want a hamburger too? He really wants a hamburger. He said, forget the dog food, I want a hamburger. <laughs> so you got your hamburger? Look, she's collecting shells too. Look at that. She's collecting shells. Here you are, all over. And first, she's doing a barbecue. You're gonna get the bottle of meat, okay? No. You shouldn't. And the party's still going on. Well, one thing about me, I never skip a meal. So since I had a late, late lunch, I guess now I have to have a late, late dinner, right? And nothing tastes better than a hot meal on the water. And especially when somebody else cooks it. Because today, well tonight, Fresquito's being the barbecue chef. Well guys, check this out. This is the end of the night. And I forgot how good it feels to be inside a cabin. It's been a long time that we stayed over on the Big Hydro. And today, we decided to stay over because tomorrow is the sandbar party. So, instead of fighting with the ramp, we decided to come at night, hang out for a little bit, and then take a little rest, and we'll wake up at the spot in the morning. So, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Bye-bye. 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 See you.
All right, guys, don't go anywhere because we got to wake up to this beautiful morning here at Birken Island and getting ready for the sandbar party. And we were a little bit nervous because the weatherman predicted scattered showers. But I think he might have been wrong because look how beautiful it turned out to be. And that means we're going to take advantage and enjoy the day. But you guys are going to have to tune in tomorrow to check out the next video. And believe me, you don't want to miss it. And guys, you already know, rain or shine, we're going to have some fun in the sun. So make sure to tune in tomorrow for the rest of the video.